No. What was that? Nothing. I just gotta get a new spam blocker. Hey! What's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. I am your guy, Neil Freakin' Legend. And I am your fortune cookie, Go! My friends, let's go ahead and do it. The one I threw on the wall yesterday, we got it back in full effect. So you know what I do? I open it up, up, open it up. I take a little dab of the mere portion of the fortune cookie. Yeah, I am not even going to lie. They're getting stale. It's already broke. I'm just going to drop it out right now. I'm going to have to throw all these away and get some more. I'm going to let you look it up so you won't see that. I oh, oh. And choked on my own cookie. That ain't what I meant. <laughs> so you want to see that I swapped it out? I'm going to read it and I'm going to give you two to three minutes of motivation, maybe one or two. But let's go. It says, your next email <laughs> will have good news. Hey, it says your next email will have good news. Guys, I am depending on this. Let me tell you how this is coming in full circle. See, I have started speaking with this group down where I'm at. It's called Holla. I believe. Holla stands for helping our loved ones. No, no, helping our loved ones learn and achieve. I think that's what it is. I really need to know this because I'm a part of them. I need to know this. Helping our loved ones learn and achieve. I really think that's what it is. But anyway, I'm a part, I'm a part of that. And in, 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 in this program, we help young men, young women, we mentor them, we give them love, brotherly, sisterly love, and we bring people in from all walks of life, healthy, eating, working out, people that have been accomplished in their life for so long, like older people, younger people, and this guy I met, um, actually, I, I'm not even going to say I met him, I, I went to school with this young man. And we was just talking, we was just chiming, just just really catching up, but also letting each other know what we do and everything. And he, he said, yo, man, I'm not going to promise you nothing, but I can throw your names to some people and just see if they're willing to help, see if they can put you in the right places and stuff. And I love dude for doing that because he made real, made good on his word. He called me the next day, actually texted me the next day and said he had good news for me. Long story short, he asked for my email. That was today. And I gave him my email and he said, I'm going to shoot you, shoot them the email. They're going to, you know, give you the phone numbers, put you there. Like, that's why this is so, so, uh, so real right now. That's why I'm fumbling over words because I'm, I'm excited at the same time because it says your next email will have good news. Like I'm expecting good news. See, I'm not sitting back like, I mean, I hope, like, man, I wish, man, like, if they just, I'm not sitting back doing that. I am expecting good news. And with me expecting good news, I have already prepared for whenever it's time for me to do what I have to do. Even though that it's, it, it's not set in stone yet, I'm expecting them good news. So I know it's going to come. And this is just confirmation. So the, the message that I have for y'all, the guys, this is not really about an email. This is about expecting things. See, a lot of you guys is not great because y'all think, you hope, and just maybe. Y'all have all these things that, that, that leave you room to be disappointed because if you say maybe and think then when it don't happen you say well I already knew that it wasn't going to happen. What kind of faith you have in yourself if you already knew that it wasn't going to happen there is it is okay for failure. It is okay to be wrong. It's better for you to speak life into your own life right? It is better for you to do that. So, so how hard is it or why hard is it for you to be able to say, I expect good news in my email. I expect to get this job. I expect to get this house. I expect to get this car. I expect to make my wife happy. I expect to give everything that I want to give to my kids so they can have a better life. I expect this promotion, right? Are oh, we hitting some doors now? I expect this gig, I expect for you to let me speak at your school. 
Why is it so hard? Why is it so difficult for you to expect things in your life? Because let's, let's talk about this, guys. Let's talk about what I'm about to say. You expect bad things. You expect your car to break down. You expect your check not to be right. You expect not to be able to pay your bills. You expect for somebody to keep bringing you bad news. You expect not to be happy today. And I'm hitting that door right now. You expect all this bad and negativity. You call up this friend and that friend. You talk to your partner. You talk to your parents. And you always say, when one thing happened bad, another thing happened bad. Let's change the conversation of your mind and your words. And let's start expecting great things. You feel me? And let's start doing it. Guys, I am your boy, Neil Freak Legend. And I am your fortune cookie guru, my friends. You got what it takes.